you know, some of my viewers asked me to do a video on trail breaking and what are my thoughts on trail breaking? Should you be trail breaking out here on the streets? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about trail breaking and why noobs, new riders, shouldn't be doing it. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos and Those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through You know basically trail braking Allows a rider to get through the corners faster allows them to go into the corner faster than they normally would if they weren't trail braking so they go into the corner faster, they got their finger on the brake, slight pressure on the brakes, and the more they lean, the least amount of pressure they have on the brakes until they get up uh, to the apex of the corner, and obviously they're not on the brake at that point. But like I said, it get, allows them to come in the corner hotter. But as a new rider, you don't really, you don't have the braking skills necessary to do trail braking out here yet. You know what I'm saying? You need to learn the proper speed you need to get through the corners uh, without doing any type of braking because the risk is for, for a rider to do trail braking, any rider, whether advanced or beginner, is if you apply too much brake pressure and you lose grip traction on the street and you end up low siding. Uh, which can happen, especially to a new rider, to a seasoned rider, they have the ability to finesse the brake. They know what it feels like, the amount of pressure they need to head into the corner before, you know, and, and how much they need to let off and then finally completely let off the brake before the apex. As where a new rider, they just, they don't have the braking skills. Like I said, they may panic and maybe do a little bit, go into the corner a little too hot and, uh, press the brake too hard and like I said lose traction and end up low siding um, like I said out here on the street we have gravel we have animals that run across the street hey hey, hey. get the f out of there man you saw where I had a bunny rabbit that <laughs> jumped over my front wheel of my bike I oh man oh I mean, it's you guys should not be speeding around corners out here on the streets, man. It's just it's too dangerous. Even in the canyons in California, you know what I'm saying? It's really best to take the aggressive riding to the track. You know what I'm saying? So if you do your trail braking on the track and you do do too much brake and you end up low siding, you'll be in a much safer environment where you'll head off and you're not you don't have to worry about cars that are behind. You don't have to worry about uh, you know, uh, telephone poles and trees that to run into. <laughs> so that's why a lot of people you see track riders they do all they they're sport but these you know super bikes and super sports are for only for track for them. And a lot of them ride cruises out here on the street and just cruise out here, man, because it's really just kind of stupid. You know, speeding around the corners out here on the street is dumb. When I first got my 600 double R, I was out here, you know, doing some street Rossy crap. I wasn't extreme. I was just doing some spirited runs, you know, in, in the corners and whatnot. But I cut that out, man. I don't mess around like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? I went down to the Triple Nickel, which is our Ohio's Tale of the Dragon, which is nowhere near as good as Tale of the Dragon, obviously. But that's where all our twisty are, twisties are. I rode it on my motorcycle. And, uh... I tell you guys, I hit some corners there. I rode it a bit aggressive, and there were some corners there that had gravel, and I had some my rear tire slid some, and I I had some close calls there messing around being aggressive out there, man. And I was a long ways from home, and I was out with there by myself. <laughs> I was crazy for doing that, man. But uh, I I have never I do not do any trail breaking out there on the street. Only a couple occasions I've done it. Uh, but it's totally unnecessary out here on the streets. Like I said, you don't want to be coming into a corner hot out here on the street. It's unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? Basically, as a new rider, what you need to do is just learn how to get through the corners correctly. You look to where you're going. You press the bar to the direction you're going. 
you lean the bike and you maintain the throttle through the corner that's what you need to learn those are the that's the skills you need to learn is getting through the corner you know don't panic break in the corner that the, the you know the biggest reason why i see uh riders out here that had, end up having a real fucked up day and crashing their bikes is because they panic break i've seen people panic break in corners they end up running wide or they low side uh i've seen I've seen riders that uh, a car pulls out and they, they grab all front brake and end up going over the bars on their bikes. Um, that You know, the people that don't have ABS brakes on their bikes because ABS keeps the, the wheels from locking up. Uh, but I've seen some riders out there, guys, that uh, even seasoned riders I've seen end up having an effed up day out here because they panic brake, man. You have to learn to squeeze the brake, not squeeze it. But what you need to do guys instead of worrying about you know trying to learn how to trail brake so you feel like you can be extra skilled out here on the streets it'd be better for you to go off into a, uh, a parking lot and practice uh, emergency braking you know do the brake and swerve like they teach you in it uh, you know at the MSF class go and, and do that every now and then every now and then I'll go into the, uh, uh, the parking lot and I'll practice some emergency braking just to stay on top of my skills so I'm prepared you know I learned when I was a boy scout what helped me through my life and every aspect of my life is to be prepared that was a scouts motto back then be prepared which I think it still is always be prepared the same with motorcycles and practice those defensive riding skills i did a video on i'll include the link in the description and comment section of this video because out here on the street the main thing is to stay safe guys that's the number one thing to do you want to stay safe uh that's it it's not about wheeling it's not about uh trying to get some uh, knee slide action some elbow slide action it's not it's about just staying safe man that's it and i want you guys to all stay safe out here but anyways guys for those of you guys that want to get my gear like this airbag vest keeping it safe out here my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet with mirror shield leather jackets leather pants camel pants gloves cameras all my stuff I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and that's links to all my stuff Big thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel book out moto where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my YouTube channel book out moto